the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series whatever are finally here, which is clearly the most important news item in the world right now. So what better time than this to look back at the best launch titles in the history of the sports game genre. In case you don't know, by launch titles, we mean video games that came out at the same time as a brand new video game system. After all, gaming consoles are only as good as the games they support. If you can't play any good games on the thing, what's the point of paying $900 for it? Uh, also, we're limiting this to one game per console, which means there were some tough cuts here. So if we missed your favorite game, or if you're just angry about the election and have no other outlet for your rage, please feel free to shout opinions at us on social media or in the comment section below. We're Operation Sports, I'm Matt Edrer, and these are the top 5 sports game launch titles of all time. Number 5. Excite Bike NES Released to the United States on October 18, 1985, and to Europe on September 1, 1986, Excite Bike nudges out NES baseball for the Nintendo launch title belt and the number 5 spot on our list today. What Excite Bike lacks in smooth controls and graphical depth, it makes up for in Excite Mint. Uh, not only is it fun and addictive to this day, but the course design mode was sort of revolutionary for its time. The ability to create and instantly generate your own courses and play them right away, it added a replayability to this game that a lot of NES titles didn't have. This isn't their greatest racing game of all time, although I am willing to hear an argument that dirt bike games achieved perfection with either this or Road Rash. But Excite Bike is a classic example of a video game that is easy to play, but hard to master. Number 4, NFL 2K, Sega Dreamcast. Released in North America on September 9, 1999, NFL 2K edges out NFL Blitz 2000 for the Sega Dreamcast launch title belt and the number 4 spot on our list. If this were a ranking of which game holds up better today, Blitz or NFL 2K, I would go Blitz 100 times out of 100. NFL Blitz 2000 is pretty much still the same game today as it was in 2000. NFL 2K does not hold up nearly as well, but that's not really what we're doing here today. NFL 2K was groundbreaking at the time, with visuals and presentation that not only matched, but far exceeded what Madden was offering. NFL 2K peaked as a series with NFL 2K5, a game that is beloved to this day, and still arguably the GOAT football game. But the original 2K was one of the all-time great launch titles, a game that really made you feel as though he had advanced and broken into a greater plane of sports gaming. Number 3, Madden 2001, PS2. Released in North America on October 26, 2000, Madden NFL 2001 is the one with Eddie George on the cover. Responding to the challenge of 2K's impressive NFL 2K series, EA Sports blessed PS2 users with Madden 2001, one of the great sports titles of its day and one of the great launch titles ever. Seriously, go back and read the reviews for this game. It's almost adorable. GameSpot Quote, the level of detail in this game's presentation and feel is so dramatically superior to previous football games, it's unbelievable. The Cincinnati Inquirer, quote, the PS2 version of Madden looks deceptively close to broadcast TV quality. Wow! Hot take from the Cincinnati Inquirer, but to be fair, it's been a long time since the city of Cincinnati has seen quality football. Alright, this game was incredible at the time, and it's at least worthy of the number 3 spot on our list today. It edges out both NHL 2001 and SSX for the PlayStation 2 launch title belt. Number 2, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, GameCube. Tough game to rank here, you could talk me into it not belonging on the list at all, because it was originally released for the N64. PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1 a month before the GameCube's release on October 28, 2001. The GameCube version, released November 18, 2001, is noticeably worse than the PS2 version, both because of graphical limitations of the GameCube and because PS2 TH3 offered online capability, something I'm sure almost nobody used, but hey, it was there. Having said all that, you could also talk me into ranking this game number one on our list today. 
I think this is probably the best pure video game on the list. It added numerous gameplay tweaks to the Tony Hawk universe that we're still enjoying 20 years later on PS4's Tony Hawk 1 and 2 remake. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 also induced Bam Margera into the mix, something that was a lot cooler in 2001. Tony Hawk 3 edges out All-Star Baseball 2002, Dave Mira BMX 2, Madden NFL 2002, NHL Hits 2002, and Wave Race Blue Storm for the GameCube launch title belt. What a stacked category that is. Number 1. Wii Sports. Nintendo Wii. It might not be perfect, and there might not be a lot of depth to it, but it is impossible to hate on the success of Wii Sports. Released in North America on November 19, 2006, Wii Sports is the fourth highest selling video game of all time at 82,900,000 copies sold at present time. Only Minecraft, Grand Theft Auto V, and the mobile version of Tetris have sold more units. It is by far the highest selling sports game of all time, almost doubling the next highest, which is Wii Fit at 43,800,000 copies sold. For the record, Wii Sports Resort is the third highest selling sports game of all time at 33,140,000 copies sold. The highest selling non-Nintendo sports game of all time is FIFA 18 at a measly and meager 24 million copies sold. These numbers are all according to Wikipedia, so I'm sure they are fake. In any event, there's not much to say about Wii Sports that hasn't already been said by thousands of people smarter than myself. It's probably the only video game that your grandparents ever played and enjoyed. It's been parodied in a thousand different movies and TV shows, referenced a million times, and as long as you didn't personally throw a remote through your television set while playing it, you probably have at least one halfway pleasant memory of Wii Sports truly a classic video game, and inarguably the best sports game launch title of all time. But hey, if you'd like to argue that, or if you just think that we forgot something, please feel free to chime in, uh, peacefully and cheerfully if you could, in the comment section below, over at Operation Sports on Twitter, or perhaps even at the Operation Sports forums. My name is Matthew Edder, and while I got you here, if you like professional wrestling or just want to hear more of my nasally Canadian drawl, feel free to check out the Talk NXT podcast. My friend and co-host Boris Aguilar and I are there every Thursday, talking NXT, AEW Dynamite, and picking out the best promo and match of the week so that you don't have to sit through four hours of wrestling every Wednesday. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay safe out there.